Welcome back to Northwest Oil Sports Report. Joined live in the studio by Perry head coach Dan Baker. Last minute, kind of calling you in, asking if you could come in and, and talk a little Perry football with, with the weather we've got going on. Coach, thanks for making the time to come in and talk to us. I appreciate you guys having me on. It kind of worked out pretty perfect. You know, you've been kind of keeping an eye on the scores as, as we have, and you, uh, you, you've been focusing kind of on the, on the smaller schools, you said. A lot of that has to do with you guys being a D7, what, uh, what, what, apart from you coaching a smaller school, what kind of draws you to keeping an eye on those types of scores? Well, you know, you got a lot of guys that are playing both ways in all those schools. Uh, we're going to match up with a handful of them, or teams that will play will play a handful of them. So it kind of is fun to keep an eye on that and keep track of who's winning, who's not, who's up this year, who's down this year. You know, it's kind of an aside, we, we broadcast the LCC Lima Senior game live a couple weeks ago, and LCC, you know, had a really close matchup with a team that just had more guys to, to throw at them. As, as someone who, who coaches a smaller division, LCC's a little bigger than you guys, they're a D6. Does that kind of, does that give you a little hope, maybe a little encouragement that with the right players in place that you, you can match up with maybe schools that could be on your schedule at some point that do have more kids on the sideline? Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, LCC showing that you can hang with some of the guys that have more than twice your numbers on the sideline is kind of helpful. You know, it, I think it shows a lot to smaller schools all over the place that you can hang with anybody. It's just a matter of coming out there, being ready to go and having the right guys in the right situations. You know, looking at your second year now as uh, head coach of Perry, Take me back a year, or maybe a year and a couple of weeks from when you started. What is different for you now? What have you learned kind of having a, a year of preparation, a year of, of head coaching under your belt? Uh, it's a lot more organizational skills that you're, you can't really get prepared for until you're in that situation. And I think that's, I've talked to a bunch of different people that first time getting a head coaching job, that's one of those things that you can't get prepared for until you do it. But I think another thing is how do you replace some guys that graduate? You know, we've graduated 10 really good football players last year, and we're kind of replacing that with a lot of younger guys this year, and that's a lot of moving pieces and a lot of work in progress, and I think that's something that everybody has to struggle with, especially smaller school like we're talking about. One of the works in progress, uh, talking about specifically, is you mentioned having to, you know, replace an entire backfield. You've, you've got some nice guys coming back. Chaz Jackson came back for you this, this season, um, but you're, you're having to replace a lot of those guys in the back, you know, you haven't had maybe the start that you would have liked this season, but how is that process going for you guys? Where are they improving? Where are you seeing growth and, and learning on the part of those guys that are getting plugged in? You know, you're getting a lot of young guys, a lot of reps. I think the majority of our team is sophomores or freshmen. We have eight upperclassmen on a 22-man football team, and two of those upperclassmen didn't play football with us last year. So a lot of guys are getting their first ever varsity playing time. Um, Backfield-wise, you know, it's hard to replace a Nylon Cannon, a Louis Hurst, and a Shane Overly. Those, those are guys that come around once in a while in a smaller school program, and those are tough guys to replace. And I think we got some young guys that are stepping up trying to replace some of that pro productivity. What are some of the lessons that you've been able to impart or you think the guys have learned? You, you kind of had a rough week last week against Allen East. What do you take away from a game like that that gets out of hand earlier than – you know, you wanted it to or wanted it to, period. Well, I, I think a lot of that is, you know, our sophomore class has been good at everything they've ever done. And they were undefeated in junior high. They were really on a really good football team last year as freshmen. And, you know, that's one of those things, you, it's a learning curve. Sometimes how to get up for a big game is part of that learning curve, how to stay focused in a game that maybe is starting to slip away from you. You know, young guys have a tendency to compound one mistake with a second mistake or a third mistake, start focusing on that first one and they never come back around from it. That's something I feel like older guys tend to do real well and that's kind of something we focused on this week in practice is, you know, let one mistake go, come around ready to go for the next one. How have you seen your senior leaders, your upperclassmen kind of step up and take responsibility? We, we hear coaches talk about that all the time. In fact, a lot of coaches kind of lean on that like the the older guys need to set the example for the younger guys as to how we play perry football for example how have you seen that manifest itself in the early part of the season well that's tough i mean if you look at it i mean our opponents the same way this week um delphus jefferson they're on their fourth head coach in four years i was in that spot last year so it's kind of tough some of those guys don't even know what perry football is to them so we got to kind of get those guys in that process and teach them the right things that we want them to be doing and then allow that to kind of trickle down I mean, realistically, in that senior class that we have, we have two guys that have been on the program in the program since their freshman year. So that's something that is definitely tough because you got to get those guys understanding. They got to kind of trickle that down throughout the program, and you know that's something that it's a daily 
challenge every single day for every one of those kids and coming ready to work. Do you see that as a rebuilding aspect of kind of the, the program or just, I, I'm so new, it, it's all, we're, just, we're all kind of starting with the same foundation and, and working our way up together? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of the same foundation. I think it's a process of reloading wherever you're at. I mean, Perry has struggled historically, you know. I think they've only had three back-to-back -back winning seasons, and this past year was one of them. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things that, you know, you got to teach kids what it's like to win. Um, you got to teach kids what it's like to consistently try to win. You know, it's football's a hard sport. It's not easy to keep winning. You look around some of the er area teams, you look at some of these scores going on, there's some teams that are up and down every single year. There's some teams that are always at the top. It's, it's a matter about trying to get Perry football to always be at the top. And that's one of those things that's a learning curve when you've never seen it. So I think that's kind of where we're focused right now is trying to get to the top. Obviously, we got to start winning some football games to do that. This Saturday, you match up against Delphus Jefferson. It's an opportunity to win a football game, as, as you said. You know, Jefferson also kind of having a, a rough patch right now. You mentioned they've gone through as many coaches in as many years. What are you looking for in terms of, of matchups? What do you see out of Delphus Jefferson? How do you, uh, what do you look to uh, do in order to compete with the Jeff Cats on Saturday? I think it kind of comes down to any, any game. I think any game is going to come down to what you do up front and in the trenches. I think I'm a guy that is a big believer in the lines on both sides of the ball. I mean, if their offensive line or their defensive line plays better than our offensive line and or defensive line, then that's going to kind of dictate how the game goes. And I think if you were at our game last week, Coach had his guys at Allen East a little more ready to go up front than we were. And, I mean, if you go back to our week one matchup with Spencerville, they had a their offensive line and defensive line were kind of the reason why we weren't able to be as successful as we wanted to be. So, I mean, when you look at our offensive line, we have one, one junior. After that, it's real young, real fast. So that's something that those guys maybe don't have playing experience. So we're hoping that the first two weeks kind of got that out of the way and got those guys ready to rock and roll. And we're hoping that that's kind of where my focus is this week is own the trenches. And with those guys in the line, you know, kind of final question, you know, there's a lot of not just maturity and experience, but just physical growth. I mean, you are not the same, especially for, for guys, you're not the same size your senior year that you were your freshman or your sophomore year. There's a lot of growth that takes place in that. So you're probably seeing guys not just maturing or understanding the game a little better, but just seeing them, you know, grow and mature physically and be able to handle and play the trench game the way you want them to. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a big piece of it, you know. You look at guys, you know, you're playing against 18-year-old grown men sometimes that are seniors, and you're just now getting your license, or some a lot of our guys don't ha even have their license yet. So, I mean, that's a huge difference in maturity. It's a huge difference in playing experience, a huge difference in ability to be in a weight room, getting stronger, getting more physical. So that's one of those things that we try to counteract in different ways, and we're hoping that we get some good strategies this week that kind of work to our favor. Dan Baker, head coach at Perry Football Coach. Best of luck to you uh, tomorrow against Jefferson. Appreciate it.